Focused on long-range tactics and eliminating sensitive targets, snipers are the most elite and professional marksmen in the galaxy. And every marksman needs a gun. In Star Wars The Old Republic, if you have a sniper, or a companion who can wield a sniper rifle, there are many different ways to get one, including the cartel market, but you can also craft your own sniper rifle if you have the arms tech crew skill. There are a lot of really cool looking craftable sniper rifles. Unfortunately, the craftable sniper rifles are not moddable and they are not part of the outfit designer, which means you cannot upgrade their stats in any way if you like the cosmetic look of them. The developers of the game have mentioned that they want to add weapons to the outfit designer so you can use them kind of like a costume on top of your normal gear. But for now, these weapons are useless unless you just want to deal with the cosmetic look for roleplay or to use while you're leveling. Hopefully this video will be a little more relevant in the future. In the meantime, take a look at these really cool 10 sniper rifles that you can craft. The first sniper rifle that you can craft for level 10 is the Carboplast Onslaught Sniper Rifle. And this sniper rifle is kind of crude looking, it kind of looks like it's been put together of bits and pieces. It's very good for a very low level, low tech sniper rifle. And sniper rifles are one of the least used weapons in the entire game. They can only be wielded by the Imperial Agent Sniper Advanced Class. There's a total of 16 advanced classes in the game, and only one of them can pick up a sniper rifle. So if you like these types of guns, make sure to actually pick a sniper when you're creating a character. There's also a few companions that can wield a sniper rifle, including Eric Jorgen, the famous Deadeye, who was upgraded to be able to actually equip the weapon in 4.0. Companion weapons are purely cosmetic, so feel free to give these to your companion without worrying about the stats. The second sniper rifle that you can craft for level 16 is the Plastifiber Onslaught Sniper Rifle. And I really like this one, as you can see my character is wearing a white outfit, and this sniper rifle is a very bright, light, white gun, and it really looks like it's a high-tech sniper rifle, and would probably go really good with the white Imperial officer set that you pick up along the way for your agent while you're leveling. If you're new to crafting and want to take a crack at crafting some of these yourself, you want to head to the crafting and crew skills section of the fleet. You need to be about level 10 and finish your first planet. There you can talk to a crew trainer and pick up the arms tech crew skill. The third sniper rifle that you can craft for level 24 is the Flexiglass Onslaught Sniper Rifle. And I really like this sniper rifle for a more rugged sniper, maybe one who's actually out in the bushes sneaking around trying to have some camouflage. A lot of the rest of the sniper rifles and generally the Imperial Agent gear is very tech oriented, very clean, very a high tech sniper, not really someone who's out in the field. If you're a free to play player and you're picking up the crafting skill arms tech, you won't be able to pick up any of the complementary skills that help you get the materials needed to craft these. You'll have to buy them from the GTN or get them from a friend. If you're subscribed, you'll be able to also pick up scavenging and investigation, which are the complementary crew skills for arms tech. If you're preferred, maybe you can pick up um, scavenging because then you can also pick stuff up off the ground too. You'll just have to buy some of the special materials from the GTN. The fourth sniper rifle that you can craft for level 32 is the Frick Onslaught Sniper Rifle. And I really like this one, it seems more like an heirloom that's made of wood, maybe passed down for generations. Something a little classier, not quite as tech, but not quite as rugged as the one we just saw earlier. It's got really nice little bits of green lights on it too, silver and wood colored. If you don't want to craft these yourself and you'd rather just get one from someone else, you can start by checking the GTN. A lot of the other weapons have a DPS version and a tank version. But the sniper rifles only have the onslaught DPS version. You can't be a sniper tank, unfortunately. If you can't find it straight on the GTN, you'll just need to find an arms tech who can craft one for you. Try going to the fleet and ask, is there anyone who can craft me a sniper rifle? Or is there any arms techs around? You don't need any special types of schematics to craft these, so any arms tech can pick it up for you. The fifth sniper rifle that you can craft is the Flexoid Onslaught Sniper Rifle for level 40. I really like this one. This is what I think of when I think of a sniper rifle for the Imperial Agent specifically. Not too flashy, but with lots of tech on it. It's got some little aqua lights and it's kind of a dark gray color. If you're wondering what other companions can wield a sniper rifle, they tend to change around depending on the most recent patch or expansion. But for now, I believe the companions that can wield a sniper rifle include Galt, Kaleo, Felix Areso, Senna, Lieutenant Pierce, Corso Riggs, Risha, and of course Eric Jorgen, and possibly the HK droids. 
The sixth sniper rifle that you can craft for level 46 is the DeLorean Onslaught Sniper Rifle. I really like this one. It's a very, very thin sniper rifle, very bare without too many bits and pieces attached to it. It's got a very dark gray with dark bluish aqua tints to it. It's a very cool looking gun, very quite pretty actually. It definitely matches the Alderaan surroundings here. The seventh gun that you can craft for level 51 is the Transparasteel Onslaught Sniper Rifle. And this is a big hulking beast of a sniper rifle. If you don't like these long skinny things that snipers tend to wield, this is a huge bulky sniper rifle that's practically a blaster rifle of its own. If you're willing to hit someone with your gun instead of just shooting them from far away, this might be the sniper rifle for you. The eighth sniper rifle that you can craft is the Havid Onslaught Sniper Rifle. And this sniper rifle is so much fun. It might not fit the idea of an Imperial agent very well, you know, a secretive tech agent, but it is an incredibly whimsical design. It was released as part of the Shadow of Revan expansion, connected to the planet of Rishi, a pirate haven. And it's definitely a very pirate weapon. It kind of looks like an old antique pirate firearm, but they attached a really incredibly long barrel. I think this is the longest of all the sniper rifles that you can craft. It's got some really ornate designs on the handle as well. I think this one would go especially well if you were willing to ditch the whole Imperial agent uniform and just went full pirate. There's a whole bunch of different pirate and scallywag outfits that you can grab not only from Rishi but also from the various cartel packs. The ninth sniper rifle that you can craft for yourself is the level 61 glass steel onslaught sniper rifle and this is really high-tech looking gun. It kind of looks a little bit like a vacuum but the kind of vacuum that probably costs a million credits. It's got a very sleek and smooth surface that the other guns don't have and it's got a much larger body attached to its barrel. This would be great for the high-tech sniper who has all the best tech. The last sniper rifle that you can craft, with schematics straight from the crew skills vendor, is the Cedrelium Onslaught Sniper Rifle. This one is pretty different from all the other sniper rifles we've seen. Not only does it have a ton of color, it's a really vivid, dark, reddish, orangish color. It also is quite large. It's not just a very basically shaped sniper rifle. It actually looks more like a rifle than a sniper rifle at all. It also has lots of tiny details, especially some wrappings around the edges, some gold bands, and just some various little black parts that look really cool and detailed. This gun would be really good for anyone who wants that large splash of red color, or anyone who wants a really bulky sniper rifle. And there you go! There's 10 sniper rifles that you can craft yourself using the Armstead crew skills. I know not many of you can wield the sniper rifle, but I hope those of you who can found a really cool one for you or your companion. Let's cross our fingers and hope that weapons can be added to the outfit designer sooner rather than later. On the next video in this series, I'll be showing off the blaster pistols that you can craft. And we've already covered all kinds of really cool outfits that you can craft, as well as lightsabers and double bladed lightsabers that you can craft for your Jedi and Sith. All snipers learn how to use deadly sniper rifles and specialize in long range combat and fashion. See you guys on the next episode!